Um, Good point. You know, one thing I wanted to highlight from you is um, you talked about citrulline. And there is a couple of studies on low citrulline levels and low citrulline and its effect on nitric oxide. We know that. But one thing they talk about is it how people are dying from this coronavirus is typically acute respiratory distress syndrome, right? That's kind of how everything manifests at the end. And they're talking about nitric oxide playing a big role in that. And they talked about that um, nitric oxide substrate citrulline would be associated with end organ damage. So essentially, lower levels of citrulline increase more acute respiratory distress issues and sepsis and organ damage. So it seems like citrulline is really protective um, with this end stage disease failure that you're going to see with these issues. That is crazy. I wonder if you could get that. I mean, that's the problem is, is that readily available that you could get it in IV if you're in an urgent situation? Are you depending on drinking it? You know, what if you're in such bad shape, you can't drink an amino acid blend? You know what I mean? It's just tough. Like, how do you implement some of these things? Well, I mean, you, you would IV or worst case, you'd get some type of access port to the to the stomach or the intestines where you could dump the, the free form amino acids in, yeah. in that way. I mean, that'd be the biggest thing I would I would think. I'm not sure what your options are in that kind of a crazy surgical setting. That's just the problem too, because- when you're in that, as that doctor mentioned uh, in the video we talked about in the beginning, is that it's very difficult. And he actually wrote in the comments too, as well, that he's actually kind of closing up his ICU unit and he's returning just to the emergency room because he says he doesn't have faith anymore in the standard protocol. And he didn't say flat out, but I'm kind of reading in between the lines that he's unable to go off of the protocol and try other things. So that's the problem is, let's just say citrulline and arginine were game changers and beet powder, and they could significantly boost up nitric oxide to really help reduce the severity of this issue. If you bring that up to your doctor, first of all, they may laugh at you. And then secondly, they may say, well, we don't have that. You got beet powder in your pocket, sir. What do you want me to do? You know, they'll probably give you some kind of smart aleck answer like that. Yeah, exactly. 100%. And again, I just think conventional medicine isn't really equipped to add some of these modalities in just because most of their modalities are going to be drug-based. Well, they don't have it on hand. They don't have a, 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 a pallet of beet powder in the back of the hospital. Exactly, exactly. And I really like to see you know conventional medicine kind of get more hip with functional medicine principles in the emergency setting, right? Because we know a lot of integrative medical docs for chronic disease, they're starting to get hip with functional medicine because they, they're understanding that they're just treating their patients long-term with drugs. And it's very expensive, right? If you treat a diabetic with just metformin and insulin and all these different things, it's very expensive over 20 years. It's going to cost millions of dollars, but we could actually work on getting to the root issue and fix it with diet and lifestyle and specific supplements. So I wish we could see more of that mindset with the acute palliative care. I think we may see even better improvements. Yeah, I mean, you and I have uh, several medical doctor friends, some that work in cardiology, some that are emergency room. And I bring these issues up all the time. I say, hey, look, if you've got somebody coming in and they've got maybe some slight elevated blood pressure and Mm -hmm. they've got major anxiety, what's your all's typical protocol? And it's going to be like a benzodiazepine, like a Xanax. Uh, It may be some type of medication to get the blood pressure down. And then they send them home with like a um, psychologist or a psychiatrist uh, referral so that they could then go get on an antidepressant. But instead, if I were in charge, if I saw slightly elevated blood pressure, something I thought that nutrients could handle, and there was a panic attack associated with it too, I'd say, okay, well, here's your shot of passion flower, motherwort, theanine, which all would calm you down and simultaneously reduce blood pressure. And then, hey, here's some extra magnesium. Here's some extra folate. Here's some hawthorn berry, and we're good to go. 100%. I agree.